Let's look at some of the best cases for iPhone 14 Pro. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. I am buried a little bit here, but I have more than a hundred cases for the iPhone 14 Pro. And I'm gonna walk you through, show you some of their highlighting features, which ones happen to be my favorite. If you wanna check any of these out, I've, I've tried to collect links down below in the description and you can use the chapter markers to jump between the different brands of cases in this video. And at the end, I'll even include some screen protectors that you should check out as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this. It's more than a hundred cases for the iPhone 14 Pro. Before we get to third-party cases, we should probably look at what Apple has to offer. Apple's cases for the iPhone 14 Pro are broken up into three different groups. You have your silicone cases back here, come in uh, several very fun colors. You have your leather cases, less fun colors, but still some neat stuff to check out. And then of course the, the, the clear case, which isn't you know too fancy, but hey, it's from Apple. The clear case is most basic in terms of design. You do have the clear body, and of course it supports a MagSafe. You can see the MagSafe connector there in the center, raised bezel around the camera, raised lip around the front of the iPhone there as well. It feels a little bit slippery to me, but the buttons do feel nice and tactile there on the sides. I mean, I don't hate this case. I actually like the looks of this case. I like a clear case though. You can see in some of these shots, fingerprints will still kind of show through a little bit, but hey, I mean, there's a lot of clear cases out there. Apple's promises that they won't yellow, but I tend to not use cases long enough to find out if they ever actually do. But I think this does hold up fairly well. Uh, one thing is it has an open bottom. Some people do not like the open bottom of these cases. Uh, so that's a thing. If you're worried about it, these are not covered on the bottom like the silicone and leather ones are. Speaking of which, here are Apple's silicone cases. I'm not gonna pr uh, pretend to remember every single color that is in this lineup because Apple does have some funky names to go with them, but there are a few colors that I really like. So you have a light pink option, which looks nice. There's like a burgundy, a dark purple kind of plum-like color here, like a little dark purplish color. We of course have product red, normal product red colors. We have this light yellow. It's a little more pastel-y, I think, than it may look in the video, but a light pastel color. We have a darker blue, like a navy blue here. We have a pretty much black. This is basically black, maybe a little bit on the, like the charcoal side, but black. Uh, we have this one, which is kind of like a succulent color. This is one of my favorites. It's just a nice light green, very nice case. Uh, and then we have a purple, purple lavender type color. All these are very nice. Now with Apple's cases, one thing that is pretty cool, you have your phone here, we're gonna put the case on. And when you do it, use that NFC to kind of interface with your phone. And well, not that time because my phone was not unlocked there. We'll try this again, but the interface on the phone, it's gonna change color when that case is put on. There we go. So you can see it changes color to match the case that you put onto the iPhone. So it works with all of the cases. These are full coverage, so it covers all of the buttons on the side, and it even covers the bottom of the phone there. So again, lip on the front, lip around the cameras. These are solid cases. I don't mind these at all. I prefer though, because these always tend to stick in my pockets as I'm pulling them in and out. So I don't use these as often as I use Apple's other cases, which are the leather ones. And these are some of my go-tos from Apple. So you can see we have all these different colors. There's a lot more earth tones. They're a bit darker um, in their hues, but they are all just a little bit different. So we have an orange color, perfect for fall. These are kind of traditional fall colors from Apple. We have this umber brown, a dark brown colorway. We have a black version, basically, black version. We got another kind of very dark blue color, a purplish blue color. This one's gonna go well with the new purple iPhones. Then we have a dark green, forest green color, if that's coming through on camera at all, uh, but a dark green. What's nice about all of Apple's uh, leather cases is they have anodized aluminum buttons on the side and they actually match the phone cases, which is pretty sweet and not very many. Uh, there, are, there are a few third-party ones that do that, but they do have actual metal buttons on the side, which is a nice touch. So metal buttons there, they feel very reactive when you press them. And Apple uses Echo Leather, ECCO. A lot of cases are starting to use this leather. It's a nice quality leather. And unlike many others, Apple actually fully wraps the case. So there's not, you know, rubber or TPU sides. It actually goes fully around to the inside with microfiber lining. I like Apple's cases a lot. These are very nice. Um, and a lot of people try to kind of strive for this quality of case. I mean, it's going all the way down to those interior edges. Very nice cases. I like Apple's leather cases quite a bit. Now, let's look at some third-party options. 
First couple is from Pila. Pila is great because their whole thing is eco-friendly, sustainable products. So these cases are actually made from recycled materials, from plant materials, and they can be composted. So when you're done, you don't have to worry about, you know, ruining the planet or anything. You can literally compost these and they're gone. You can send them back to Pila and they can do it. It's very nice. And what makes them also unique is they have a swappable MagSafe module. So you can actually take out this module when you recycle the case, ditch this, uh, responsibly get rid of the magnets or move these to a new version of their cases. But yeah, it just slides in on the inside. There's some adhesive to kind of hold it into place. Then you go ahead and pop your iPhone in. That magnet just jumped right onto the back of my phone. There's a ton of cool designs. These are fairly basic in terms of what Pila does. There's amazing, amazing designs from them. So this is very cool. And then it'll work with things like MagSafe wallets can hold on there. The downside is the magnets aren't still super strong. I would not use these magnets on a stand. Like if I pulled out a MagSafe stand here, 12 South uh, High Rise 3, this is barely hanging on there. If I hit this, yeah, this slides off. So MagSafe wise, these are still a little bit weak, but the cases themselves are super nice, super eco-friendly, and have some really neat designs. I love the designs of these cases. They feel good in the hand, they're protective, very good quality cases. I just wish the MagSafe magnets were a little bit stronger. What kind of case video would it be if it didn't have some inclusion from OtterBox? I've got three different OtterBox cases to show you guys. So one of the Lumen cases, the Symmetry Plus case, and the Defender XT. So three different cases to take a look at. The first case is the Lumen case. It's a little bit of a different take on a clear case. So you still have kind of a clear case going on. You can still see a little bit of the Apple logo coming through, depending on how that light is hitting it. But yeah, the Apple logo is back there. You can see the MagSafe module. And I like this fade. So you've got uh, clear at the top, fading down to a little bit of that seller color, the color at the bottom, that then wraps around the sides of the phone. So this is like a little bit of an off yellow color, like a beige color, very nice, classy looking. But we also have the other case, including the Symmetry Plus case. This is the Symmetry Plus case, which is probably one of the most popular designs from OtterBox. Everyone loves the Symmetry and Symmetry Plus cases. They come in the most styles and patterns and colors, and you can get them, uh, you know, branded. And there's, uh, I've seen Star Wars ones and Disney ones and just all sorts of fun things. This is like a neat tie-dye pattern. Yes, it does support MagSafe, good strong MagSafe connection on there for this one. Raised lip around the cameras there, good tactile buttons with uh, contrasting colors. Lip around the front, cut out there for the speaker, which is always important on these new phones. Covered on the bottom, make sure everything is protected. These, they're, they're very popular for a reason. The last one is the Defender XT. This is probably the most protective of the ones that I'm looking at. There is the actual like Defender version and like the Strata Walla ones. But as far as these ones, this is the most protective, definitely more bumper around the edges. And it's a two material makeup. So there's actually this plastic, harder body to it wrapped in that rubber to give it more of that uh, drop protection. You can see how that kind of peels off that two layer design, which is kind of neat. This is like this purplish color. I think it looks nice. I'm more of a slim case kind of guy. I take risks and I, I like slimmer cases, but if you see, need something a little more protective, this is nice. And it's not coming in just like those black colors or brown colors that a lot do. It's got some neat, fun colors to go along with it. And I really like the clear back uh, with the MagSafe uh, logo passing through. Here's a straightforward case from Nimble. So yes, this is a clear case, which we've already seen from Apple or we're going to see from others. But what makes this one so unique is the company itself. Nimble is an amazing company, certified B Corporation, part of 1% for the planet, and they are certified climate neutral. This is made from 100% recycled materials. They're actually using compact discs, like old school CDs. They were recycled CDs to make this case. You can see the little emblem uh, or, or verbiage here on the inside. And the beat goes on, made from recycled compact discs. I, I think that's amazing. I mean, if you're going to get a case, use one that's made from these recycled materials. This does offer good drop protection, though. It actually has 10 feet of drop protection on this case, which is nice. Clear back. You have the little nimble logo printed there on the side, which contrasts nicely with this space gray, darker iPhone. So that comes through. Other than that, Pretty standard for a clear case. It's very absorbent, slim, clear, scratch resistant, all the stuff that you kind of expect from a clear case, but it's made from recycled CDs. So uh, I really like that. Here's a whole array of cases from Spec. In total, I have four different styles of Spec cases to show off. This is the first one, which is my favorite, which is why I'm highlighting it first. And this is the Presidio Grip 2. 
very much one of the flagship cases from spec. Really good bumper here around the camera. You have this built-in grip down the back as well as the sides. So it has some really good grip holding on to the phone. It has a nicely designed interior, by the way. I just kind of like the like copper look to it that comes through on the buttons as well. Inside, it's, it's a little hard to see without moving all the camera angles, but there was a decent shot. You can see those ridges. Those are creating little pockets of air inside of the phone, which gives it such good drop protection. Goes on very easily, nice and slim. This is a good looking case in my opinion. I really like it. Um, it also has built-in microbond, which is like the antimicrobial stuff to keep germs off the exterior of your case. The second one, oh, this also works with MagSafe, by the way. This is a, a MagSafe compatible case. You got that going on for it. So the next one on the list, this has the same drop protection, which is supposed to be about 13 feet. This is the Presidio Perfect Clear uh, with impact geometry. So again, little bubbles on the inside that help uh, add drop protection to the case itself. It pops on pop of color as well as being a clear case. This is just fun. It just looks great. I love it. I think this is fantastic. Good looking case here. Um, micro bond built in and they promise that it's not going to yellow at all over time. This is the Presidio 2 Pro. Presidio, another big name for spec. Uh, what makes this a little bit different than the first one we looked at is that it lacks the grip features. So similar design, super nice and lightweight, very impact resistant, 13 feet of drop protection, micro bond built in. It just lacks that, that grip texture on the outside. So if you want like a straightforward case, streamlined case, smoother case, this is what I would recommend. I really like how good the camera protection is on this. It, it's amazing. But yeah, uh, very similar, just lacks the ridges down the sides. Last is Specs Candy Shell Pro. These are nice cases, but they're not my favorite. So they have less drop protection than the other ones do. They're a little bit cheaper. These are eight feet of drop protection built in and they don't have MagSafe, but they come in these really nice, fun, bright colors, soft touch to the exterior. Like they feel really nice in the hand. Um, microbond on the outside for antimicrobial properties. Just with the lack of MagSafe and less drop protection, they're not high on my list. I'd rather spend just a little bit more and go to the Presidio 2 Pro or to the Presidio Grip 2. Uh, I, I like both of those better. So these again, Candy Shell Pro from Spec. We have our Presidio 2 Pro here, streamlined, same drop protection. Then we have the perfect clear version. Again, this too has MagSafe just like these guys do. And then my favorite, which is the Presidio Grip 2 there on your right hand side. So all these different styles here from spec. This is the Optic Armor case from Spigen. Spigen's a big brand that I'm sure a lot of you recognize out there and Optic Armor is different. There's not many cases like this that I've ever seen before. Not only is there a ridge around the camera, but there's a full lens cover built in. And it slides right over there to the side. It's gotta go quite a bit. It actually extends past the side of the phone, but it'll completely protect your lenses. You never have to worry about anything touching them. You can even clean your lenses off, you know, so they're completely clear, cover them up so they are protected there at all times. Should anything get uh, in your pocket, anywhere else, your lenses are going to be safe. Has a nice soft touch feel to it. It's a little bit of a, of a rubbery case. It's got good drop protection, I feel like. Raised lip around the front. Good solid case, but I think the biggest thing here, obviously, is just that protection on the lenses. This is, this is incredibly cool, very unique here from Spigen. I'm in love with this. I think this is such a cool idea for people who want to protect their phones, uh, their camera lenses, and are going to be out and about in some dangerous areas. This is amazing. This is such a great idea. And it still stays so slim. And it's not hard to get this open. It's still very fast, still easy to do, but you're protected at all times. Oh, and by the way, this does support MagSafe. So if you're wondering, yeah, we got we have MagSafe support here. Both of these cases are effectively the same from Moft. They are both the snap case, uh, just differs in the color. So we have a clear version and then we have this whited out version, which still has clear sides. I think these both look excellent. The way these kind of feel in your hand, so it's squishy sides, the sides are flexible here with a rigid, strong back. So again, this is gonna give you shock protection for drops, but give you that rigidity and that strong back on the phone itself. So if there's anything impacting it, it shouldn't damage the glass on the back of your phone. If this was like flexible, it could have that potential to hurt the glass. So hopefully that should stop anything like that from happening. Now we do have MagSafe support here, which is what's very cool about these cases. So the, the MagSafe support is standard. 
standard. This is very similar to what we have on the market, but Moft makes amazing MagSafe accessories that I really wanted to mention very briefly here. This is their power and stand set. And it is unlike most other things that I've seen in the market. So you have two different parts to this that actually come apart. So you have the top part here, which is a wallet. So this folds down, kind of the origami like that we're familiar with with Moft. Stick your cards in there. It provides a little kickstand for, for your phone. Uh, but this peels off and gives you this, which is the battery. And the battery is even covered in this vegan leather material that is really cool. It powers up over USB-C. There's a power button on the side. Uh, it feels like a metal button, I think. Maybe it's plastic, but a nice button. This feels like an amazing battery pack for your phone. So you have your phone in a case. It can be a MOF case or any others. Attach the battery pack to charge, pretty standard, but then it has a second set of magnets that you can use to attach a secondary accessory like a wallet, like Moff's wallet. You can pull this down and turn it into a stand so you can prop your phone up that way, even turn it uh, sideways, probably not with the battery pack that way, but turn your phone sideways there. And now you're powering up, watching a video, powering up, using a stand all at the same time. You have your cards in there, so you have your wallet and everything. This is cool. I love this power accessory stand kit from Moft, as well as the cases. The cases are great too, but this is, this is just wholly unique, and I want to just highlight it very briefly. Let's highlight some Nomad cases. Nomad's got three different case styles out this year. So there's their standard leather cases, which comes in a regular leather case and a folio, and there's even two different versions of leather that we're gonna talk about. Then there's the sport case here, comes in different colors, then the rugged case. So let's look at them all individually one by one. The rugged case is up first, and I have in two colors, which is black, this guy here, and ash green. It has a solid color on the back. It's all this uh, kind of TPU, plastic material, so a strong back, massively protective corners. As you can see here, these camera bumps, uh, not just the camera bump really, but all the corners are very well protected. There's really big ridges around each of the corners of the case to protect it during drops. This is, is a rugged case after all. There is MagSafe support in here, a nice microfiber lining on these cases. I like the green color, this ash green, this looks slick. It's like uh, everyone this year is doing green cases again for whatever reason. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few from Peak Design in a moment that are, that are really cool, but I like the green color. I think this looks great. Just a ton of drop protection. The sides are, have a little bit of dimples in them, which gives it extra grip when you're holding onto them. Then big tactile buttons there on the side that are easy to press. Then there are the sport cases. This is ash green again, that dark green color. We have marine blue, this lighter blue color, and then lunar gray. To be honest, I don't particularly like these cases. They're just not my style, So, they, but they might be yours. I don't know. They have nice anodized metal buttons on the side that are color matched. We've like got green anodized aluminum buttons. We've got blue anodized aluminum buttons and some nice contrasting gray ones here on the lunar gray. They all feel nice. They're very tactile, squishy, good to feel buttons. The thing I don't like is the glossy backs. So I don't know how these will hold up over time, but just so, so glossy. And I don't like that. Glossy things to me a lot of times, I think look cheap and that's what I get from these. I know they are on the cheaper end of, of Nomad's lineup, but I just don't love that part of them. And because they, they are MagSafe, I think things kind of like squish around a little bit on them. Not my favorite of Nomad's lineup. They're not bad by any means and they still are very protective and I like the metal buttons, but the glossiness is just not my thing, but it may be yours. Lastly, we have Nomad's leather cases, which are just old standbys, right? So you don't have to have the folio version. The folio version just has a few different upgrades this year. You can just get a standard Nomad leather case. They're amazing, they're fantastic. New this year is one, different leather options. So there's actually two different leathers here and in the video, you're not even able to tell much of a difference in terms of how they look or anything like that. I'm trying to get in the light. They look pretty much the same. The difference is this one here in my right hand is actually Horween leather. And it's stamped on the inside. This is Horween leather, which Nomad has used for years. The second one is different. This is uh, a protected leather that's not going to age nearly as fast. 
I believe here, and I'm, I'm kind of guessing, but I think people were getting these cases and they got that patina very fast, like very little use, and these will start to show a patina. Some people didn't like that. They wanted that newer leather look for longer, and that's what this new leather is offering. So if you like to get a unique patina that is unique to you, go for the Horween leather, Otherwise, get this other new leather that's still very nice. It looks fantastic, but it will not age nearly as quickly. To me, I think that's the biggest difference in these two style cases. It seems confusing, but they still had issues kind of explaining to consumers uh, what was going on there with the, with the aging of the patina. I like the patina. That's why I use these cases. So I would go with the Horween one, Horween one personally. Very nice protective cases. Otherwise, good lip there, good buttons. There's still metal buttons on these nicer high-end leather cases. What's new for these folios is a removable magnetic clasp. So you can take this out here and it's got a little bit of a clip and this gets fed through on the inside and it'll stick out right here on the case. And then you can close it up and you have a little clasp. So some people will like having this clasp option on the folio. I hate it. I, I'm not gonna use a, flat, uh, a clasp, but I like that it's an option. So if you want a clasp on your folio, Nomad just came up with this very creative, ingenious way of adding a clasp, but making it entirely, entirely removable for those that don't want them. I think they get in the way of these folios. Inside, you'll see we have three card slots as well as a pocket here underneath, so plenty of storage. I think three is the ideal number of cards, and then you can tuck some cash underneath. Always great cases. I use these a lot for, for business trips or something where I need to keep things close to me all in one, and I don't want to worry about a MagSafe wallet connecting, um, which it does. These, these do work with MagSafe wallets, but I like just kind of having everything tucked together in one spot, very protected. So I like folios like this, and I love that there's a new clasp that can be removed. By the way, one thing that irks me with all of Nomad's new cases is they removed the digital business card. They launched their iPhone cases for the iPhone 13 with digital business cards that were done by Popple. And there were little NFC chips built into the back of the case. You could tap them and it would pull up a digital business card. Great to share information. And I really used it a lot. And all of their new cases don't support it. They, they did it for a year, got everyone to, to sign up for Popple that wanted to, and then ditched it and their new phone cases. I think it's a step backward. It drives me crazy that, that they showed off this feature, included it in one year of cases, and then killed it off. I don't even think that's barely even enough time for consumers to kind of start using it. That was a letdown for me uh, in the new versions. If you never use that before and you don't care about it now, it doesn't matter, and no other cases really offer this other than one or two others. So it was a neat, unique feature for Nomad, and I'm very sad to see it go. Two cases from Peak Design. So this is definitely a pair of cases with very unique features across the board. So first, cases themselves. This is the everyday case. Uh, very super slim, nice fabric material on the back inside of the case. And then there's good raised edge around the top of the camera module, coverage on the bottom, good buttons. And you might notice this thing in the middle. I'll get to that in just a moment. The second case they have uh, to talk about is their everyday loop case. And it's got this little loop here at the bottom that you can just slip your fingers in and give you some extra, you know, leverage when you're holding your phone, you're taking pictures, you don't have to worry about dropping your phone. It's just very secure, easy to hold on to, really neat, almost like a built-in kind of pop socket when you're done. It does sit completely flat on the back of the case. And then you can use something like a MagSafe wallet. But Peak Design not only supports MagSafe with their, with their cases, they actually have a whole other ecosystem of gear. So let's go ahead and put one of these on my iPhone. You can see what it looks like here. Very sleek looking case. I like the color. This is my favorite color for sure of the Peak Design cases. Now they have various accessories to go with. So they have their own version of a MagSafe wallet right here. This pops on there. It's very strong, very strong on here compared to some of the other MagSafe wallets that are out there. And it can pop open so you can use it as a kickstand. So pop it open. Now you have a kickstand for your phone. Tilt your phone sideways to watch a video. You can do it with this little wallet. And the wallet itself has a little pocket. So you can open up, get easy access to your cards. And when you pull the top of this, uh, it slides the cards out for you to make them easy to access. One of the neatest little MagSafe wallets that are out there. And this wallet will work with any other case, not just Peak Designs. 
but they do have accessories that work exclusively with their cases. So this is one of them. This is their mobile tripod. So this right here uh, clips on the back via MagSafe like it would, but it pops out and it's got this whole tripod situation built in. Now, um, the original version of this, because this is a second generation, only worked with the Peak Design cases, but now it'll work with anything. So you don't have to have a Peak Design case to use the mobile tripod, but I think this is uh, one of the coolest accessories you can get for your iPhone. The second one that I want to highlight is one of their different mounts. So they have all sorts of mounts and those that we just looked at are soft mounts. This is what's considered like a hard mount. And the way that it works is it goes into this little mounting thing here and it's actually like a ceramic frame, super strong. This is a bike mount. So put this onto the handlebars or something and just like that, it secures in. And this is not going anywhere. This is just really <laughs> strong on the back of your phone and it makes it easy to grab off. Uh, you can do it one handed. So if this is on the back of your phone, I can still just grab it, grab with those fingers and pull away. Super easy to connect. They have tons of different versions of these hard mounts for different situations. There's a universal handlebar mount, there's wall mounts, all sorts of them. And there are some that are working with just MagSafe that are soft mounts and others like this that are hard mount and really locked into place there. And you're not gonna find much else like this and it's just so secure. This is beyond incredibly cool. I love these. So if you're interested in the larger mobile ecosystem, check that out from Peak Design, but their two basic cases are fantastic regardless if you like any of their hard mounting accessories. Let's look at Alto. Alto has always created amazing iPhone cases. They come in really nice colors. So this is a two-tone model. This is their Metro case. It's got a black top and this caramel brown on the bottom very nice colorway, metal buttons on the side. This one has an integrated card pocket, so you can take any of your cards, slide them here into the back of the phone case, and take those with you as you go. When you need them, slide them out. Works easily enough. This version does not support MagSafe, though they do have a new lineup of cases, including standard shell cases, that all do support MagSafe. That uses Italian, aniline dyed leather that feels very, very nice. Some of the nicest leather I have seen on a phone case is just fantastic. And I love the actual stitching you can see here at the bottom. A lot of little attention to detail, but it feels more like an Italian luxury good than a standard phone case. These are amazing. I like the Metro one. I do prefer the one without the Metro Pass just as a uh, MagSafe wallet, but these are nice. I would sing the Star Wars theme for you, but I will save you that. Let's look at some cases from Casetify. To be honest, I'm not even sure you can get these specific cases anymore, but it gives you a good idea of Casetify as a whole because they are constantly doing these branded campaigns with major IP. It's been Coca-Cola, USPS, um, there has been a DHL, randomly mailing services, there's been Mickey ones, there's been like Sailor Moon, these are the Star Wars one, and there's actually been two versions of the Star Wars cases, and these are the newest ones for the uh, iPhone 14 Pro series. Casetify is such an iconic brand. You're always gonna notice the logo going around the camera module. You're gonna see this all the time. There's so many selfies of people taking selfies and you just see the Casetify logos right there. Of course, these are the Star Wars ones, which are uh, amazing. So the uh, scenes from the original Star Wars movies. We have the Millennium Falcon on this version here. And they're slightly different styles of case. So this one, it has these softer sides, which are also glittery. There's like glitter built into these sides, which is kind of cool. Um, this one feels a little bit more protective, a little bit more rigid around the edges. And uh, this one has MagSafe in it. They both, uh, that one has MagSafe. So does this one. You can see MagSafe icons on there. You can see it coming through the back. This one has more of a, of a flat, stronger feel to it, like it's a, a more rigid material. It also has these different styles of buttons where you can see through a little bit, but just a different feel to it. This has like a matte finish to it. This is like a glossy, kind of sticky feel to it, more like a silicone exterior. I prefer the feel of this one and the back design. It's just so cool. You got this metallic, uh, it's like etched in, so it's like a 3D kind of feel to this case. I love it, I love these so much. Case to buy it has amazing cases and there's so many different styles to them. Uh, my wife rocks a Toy Story one, amazing, love it. And they're made from recycled materials. So this one is 50% recycled materials and this one is just from recycled phone cases. They don't say how much, but just from recycled phone cases. So I like that there's at least some eco play in these cases. Here's several cases from Vina. Vina? Vina. 
Vena, one of the two. This is the company's V Love case. It has this purple marbled exterior and this chrome heart in the center. And of course, when you put this on your iPhone, what's gonna shine through? You're gonna get your Apple logo right through that centerpiece. Really neat idea here. Very chromed out, cool, very stylish case. Downside is, doesn't support MagSafe, which is a big bummer for me. Uh, it's partially probably because of this, because that's actually kind of like a 3D feeling to that heart. So it makes it a little bit thick, maybe a little bit harder to support MagSafe. This is the V Commute case. Very cool back here. So it's like a space gray uh, case itself. You get this little bit of a heathered texture or uh, or like polished, not polished, etched kind of look. So it has like a metal look to the to this bezel around the outside that I like the look of. And then on the back, it does have this dark black jean material. There's different colors of this material. I like this space gray look. This rolls up. So it comes off. So two things, one, you can hold your cards in here, slide that in, and you can easily take it back out when you need it. But this also can roll and work as a stand. So you push it back and boom, you have a little kickstand built in, all in one case design. So really cool idea here. You have a built-in case or a stand, you have built-in wallets, and then everything just folds flat and it looks kind of like a standard case, maybe the size of like a larger OtterBox case. It's not too hefty. It does add uh, extra girth to your phone. You can see it's a little bit on the thicker side, but for the added functionality, I don't think it's a bad idea. That's why it's called the commute case, everything you need with you, stand, wallet, all in one. Okay, the most protective one yet here, this is the V Armor. It's like a tank, really. So you, it comes with a clip, so this is a built-in clip here. This can rotate so you can align it for your, your belt or wherever you're clipping that onto. Covers on the corners, and to remove it, this is actually a spring-loaded clip, so it's not even just tension, it's actually like spring-loaded to pop that free. So you can leave your holster attached to yourself, microfiber lining, foam, foam lining to protect the screen of the phone. Put that down. This is not metal on the back. That could interfere with the, the signals. It is just plastic, but has that metal look to it with a, a hard back and then soft exterior, soft sides. When we put this on, that camera cutout is so precise as it goes over each of the four, or the, more than four, the different camera modules on the back of this phone. It's a lot. So you can see we've got like the tele lens, the widening lens, ultra wide lens, you've got LiDAR, uh, whatever back there. You've got your uh, flash, the microphone, all the little cutouts on there. So extra protective on the camera. Still a hole in the bottom where you can get to your logo in case you just wanna see that coming through because it is, you know, an iPhone logo and you wanna represent, you know, the phone that you're rocking. But very protective case here, everything then clips right back into this holster that you're on your, your waist or wherever it's mounted. Really neat, this is the V Armor case from Vena or Vena. Uh, aside from what I just showed, we have other colors available. For example, uh, we have like silver and blue in that v, uh, v Commute case and another one that is space gray and black. So there's like a few different options uh, if you like any of the styles, but weren't crazy about the colors. A bunch of new cases from Incipio. Starting out with my favorite case of the lot, this is the Form case. It also happens to be the lowest drop protection. They're promising around 10 feet, three meters of drop protection, but I just think it looks so incredibly cool. It's got this like terraform pattern around the outside of the case, but it's still clear so you can see through it, see the Apple logo, the MagSafe connectivity on the inside. I just think this is an amazing looking case. Raised edges around the front, raised cameras around, or raised edges around the camera, which is an overall fantastic looking case even if it doesn't have the most drop protection that Incipio offers. Um, and it also, I believe, has built-in microbond for antimicrobial properties, but I'm not sure. I know the other cases for sure do. Moving up with 12 feet of drop protection, this is the Incipio Duo, so dual layer slim design. You get this cherry red color on the outside, you can see that second layer, that second layer of material there, that's that impact protection, that TPU rubber material, raised edges around the camera, raised edges around the screen, slightly more protected than the form case, and it does have the antimicrobial stuff built in. So very protective case and antimicrobial. Then we have the grip case. This is up to 14 feet of drop protection. 
antimicrobial properties are built in. And I want to be clear, it's not Microbon, which is like the brand name of a specific antimicrobial agent that are, are used on other cases. They are just claiming antimicrobial um, coating on these, but they don't say which one it is. Uh, so it could or could not be Microbon, it could be something else, but just antimicrobial built in to at least these last three, the, the Duo, the Grip, and the clear one that I'm about to show you. So again, these are uh, grippy cases. You can see those X's down the side look very sleek, good protection, um, just because you're not gonna drop it as easily. Very easy to hold on to this case so you don't drop it and have to even test out how strong this case actually is. The thing you're gonna note here, no MagSafe. That is included on the next case, the last one that I want to look at which is the idle case. So the last one on the list, still 12 or 14 feet of drop protection, but this one has MagSafe. So no, no extra grippiness. It has a little bit of a texture on the inside, which is just the, for drop protection, but it has a rubbery material on the outside, but not like a silicone where it's gonna stick to everything, but a little hold on the phone itself. And I like the colors here a lot. Neat texture for look, cool colors to it, very protective antimicrobial and has magnets built in for your MagSafe stuff, your wallets, your stands, you know, whatever it is that you're going to use MagSafe with, it'll work on here. I like this. This is probably my second favorite of all of the Incipio cases. It just has a really nice feel to it. it the most drop protection and these clear cases, I think they look good. Uh, imagine using this purple case on the new purple iPhones, uh, the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. I think that'd look amazing. Journey with some leather iPhone 14 Pro cases. These are very affordable yet high quality uh, leather cases for your iPhone 14 Pro. So I love the inside look of this. This is the brown case, the rustic brown color. So the inside matches. It's got a brown microfiber lining, which I think is very nice looking. You can see that logo there, which means these do support MagSafe. So any of your MagSafe stuff will work here. Raised lip around the camera. And what makes these a little bit unique compared to some of the other uh, leather cases, they have those metal buttons right there. Anodized metal buttons on the side anodized metal buttons. These develop a really nice patina over time. They're using Echo leather. Uh, I mentioned that before, high quality leather used by a lot of different brands. Different from Apple because it doesn't use the leather wrapped all the way around. It stops on the side, which is similar to, to Nomad and a few of the other big players. They just usually put the leather on the back. Brown is my favorite. There is a black version as well. Everything feels nice and tactile, coverage on the bottom. And this is a small thing, but holding the phone is comfortable. And sometimes with these TPU cases, there'll be a little bit of a lip on the inside of the port on the bottom. Not the case here, it's all rounded, which means that that's set on your pinky, which is kind of how I use mine a lot, that pinky rests and holds the phone there. It doesn't dig into your finger. It feels very comfy to hold. So I like these a lot. These are the two new leather cases from Journey. Here are a few different designs from Smartish. First is the Wallet Slayer Volume 1. This guy is designed to offer a protective iPhone case while getting rid of your wallet at the same time. So they're not using MagSafe here. MagSafe is not supported, but they have this whole built-in system. So you can slide in your cards. It'll hold multiple cards at once. It's got quite a bit of good grip in there. So you can just keep stacking your cards. Lip there, hit it, and your cards come right out very easy to use. So built in wallet inside of this case, big raised lip around the camera modules there. It's a little bit of a thicker case for sure, but I mean, you can see that gap for the wallet. You can fit a few cards in there, like several cards, which is very handy to do. So a lot of protection here, good rubberized grip on the inside and built in wallet. Then we have the Grip Monk case from Smartish. Each side has little depressions and some texture to it. Uh, that make it more drop resistant because you're not gonna you're not gonna drop. It's easier to hold your phone, and a lot of people don't kind of think about how much added protection that will offer. What's new here, uh, at least I believe for Smartish, is MagSafe support. So you can use your MagSafe wallet, MagSafe stands, MagSafe chargers, all of that built in here. So this is just a black version, but they come in other fun colors. Check out this one. You want something more festive. This is just a bunch of floral patterns. Still MagSafe support in there. You can see the circle. But yeah, there's a lot of different prints and it's got a texture to it, which is super cool. So I like these. If you're looking for something a little bit different, these are something to consider. Some new case designs from Sonics. Before looking at the phone cases, I wanted to acknowledge the packaging here. Sonics is using 100% recycled paper, recyclable paper, and they're using biodegradable plastic. So it's 95% 
uh, recyclable paper, and then 5% biodegradable plastic. So all eco-friendly packaging here. So you can pick your poison here in terms of design. This is a really cool looking case. It's a clear case, but it overlays the graphic, which I am always a big fan of. The downside is this one does not support MagSafe. Other nice features though, I like these frosted sides. They feel nice. It's got like a matte texture too, while the back is glossy. Raised elements around the camera, raised edges around the front. But they do offer other cases that do have MagSafe. So this is a very fun one. You can see those MagSafe modules, even the MagSafe magnets kind of showing through there on the side uh, where it looks like it peeled up a little bit. But this is like a glittery back, very bright and vibrant. Sonix is known for these very vibrant, fun cases. And I love that they are supporting MagSafe at the same time. So use your favorite wallet, mount, anything like that with your phone. So you can choose. There are some designs that uh, don't have that because it would block it. it, would, it wouldn't look as good and there are others that do have MagSafe and hide it a little bit on the inside so it's up to you which one you prefer uh, I'm gonna go the MagSafe route personally here are two cases from ESR ESR has done something so unique here that I can't get past how cool this is so two clear cases they have other cases with MagSafe as well which is for sure something that I would recommend looking for but regardless of that I we have to look at this camera module setup so here is uh, this one with the metal MagSafe, uh, or the metal module around the camera. It looks pretty standard, just kind of a little bit, bit of like, uh, you know, some bling for the, for the phone, but it also pops out. That's right. It turns into a kickstand to prop up your phone. And I think this is amazing. Either orientation actually works. I think this is, is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> They're not paying me to say that. I just think this is amazing. So this is their camera guard, protects the ridges around the outside of the camera, but then yeah, at any time, pull it open, prop your phone up, watch something, type with a keyboard onto it, anything like that. This is just a, this is a game changer. This should be on like all phone cases. It's so sleek. Plus you can still use, if you have a, one of the MagSafe versions, use MagSafe and stuff. It's not in the way, use wireless chargers, whatever. It's a built-in kickstand that's just not in the middle of your phone. And I think it's brilliant. This is brilliant. These are two of the new cases from ESR. I highlight this brand every single year. It is Mujo and I am so so happy to be talking about their iPhone 14 Pro cases because they have finally changed something that I've been begging for for the last yeah, two or three years now, and that is their newest cases all now support MagSafe. Yes, so Mujo here, they make these beautiful metal, or not metal, but uh, leather iPhone Pro cases. Great uh, Japanese microfiber lining, Mujo logo there. They have metal buttons on the outside, very akin to Apple. This is probably as close to Apple's cases as I have seen. So look at those metal buttons, they look great. Raised lip around the camera there, uh, raised edges around the front, coverage on the bottom, so this is all protected. Gorgeous, gorgeous cases, I love these so much. And for the longest time they just didn't support MagSafe. The last uh, uh, two versions they did not support MagSafe, and I even have, look right here, these are what Mujo is normally known for. This is my one from the iPhone 13 Pro, and this is what you see a lot with Mujo, and this, these are still available if you like it with these card pockets on the back. So stitched pocketing, allowing you to get easy access to your card, but this obviously prevents MagSafe from being used. So Mujo had these cases, still do, still available for the 14s, but the ones without, they just didn't support MagSafe. This is the first year they do, and the first year that I'm really going to be comfortable using these on a daily driver because of that newfound MagSafe support. So three different colorways that I'm showing off here. Brown color, there is black, and there is this blue. Blue is gorgeous, this is a really cool color. 
I like the blue a lot. Um, but yeah, all fantastic leather cases for your iPhone. Super duper slim, fully wrapped in leather all the way to the inside. This is not easy to do, people. That full wrap in leather, it's not easy to pull off. That's why so few do it. Um, Apple being one of the few that actually does it. So awesome, awesome, awesome for, for Mujo updating their cases to now support MagSafe. One thing I'll note though is as good as these cases are, and I still very much like them, there is a difference in terms of leather quality from years past. The leather on the iPhone 13 Pro version is just a little smoother. It's a little more subtle or a supple. Um, it's got a nicer feel to it. And you can see the change in buttons. So now it's gone to the metal buttons versus before it just had leather buttons. I prefer the metal. I think the metal is an upgrade, but the leather itself doesn't feel quite as soft as it did in the past. And I'm not sure what the change here is, different supplier, but is a, a little bit of a sharper design, I think, comparatively uh, year over year. But MagSafe support is still great to have. And otherwise, they're still really nice cases. A bevy of cases from Cyril. That's C-Y-R-I-L-L. This is the Cyril Cecil case, C-I-C-I-L-E. Two different versions of it, but uh, similar ideas. So clear case with the printed patterns. I've already said I'm a fan of this look. I really, really like it. The only downside is uh, with this one, no MagSafe. This one has MagSafe. So there are MagSafe versions of it. Look how cute this is. Just a whole bunch of daisies. A little more of a feminine, feminine case. This is gorgeous. It's so cute. I really like it. A different take on a clear case. You can see protective in the corners, uh, if I can get a good angle. There's little air pockets, so that's extra bumper. Good protection for drops. And there's even a little lanyard spot, and they include a lanyard, I believe, yeah, with each of these cases. So you can just tether a lanyard there, get a little wristlet to keep this track of this guy. Um, but yeah, I love these patterns on the back that you can see through. Don't get the one without MagSafe. Just get the MagSafe one. It's, a, it's gonna be a couple dollars more, but MagSafe, it's worth it. This is the MagSafe version of the Shine, so the Shine Mag. It's got these glittery sides that are very cool. I like the look of that. MagSafe here on the back, so clear with MagSafe, shiny mag, or, uh, glittery sides, still a lanyard attachment there, a lanyard included in the box. And this version actually includes a screen protector, so you can slap that screen protector on the front, protect your phone that way. These are the Kujak mag cases. These support MagSafe. They have basically a, a faux leather on the back. Not my favorites of the serial lineup. I like the brand. These just not some of my favorite cases, but the other ones are still cool. So let's check out one more from this brand. Okay, so here's one that I can get behind. This is the Ultra Color Mag from Cyril. Comes in a ton of different colors. Great matte finish to the exterior, raised left round camera, raised edge around the front. Good tactile buttons, has the lanyard connector. Here's what the lanyard looks like that comes in the box. You can loop it through there, use this. If you don't want to use it on that, that's cool too. You just got a free lanyard connected to your uh, your AirPods Pro. Connect it here instead, use it with that. Don't use it, you don't have to, but it's nice that it's included in the box there. These all support MagSafe, which is even better. This is this red brick color that I like, but cool, check this out. We have uh, this darker slate gray option. We have a bright, vivid purple option and a blue option. So these are their color, ultra color mag cases. Vivid colors, bright colors, matte finish, lanyards, tons of stuff, MagSafe. These ones I can get behind, an affordable, really feature rich set of cases. Some new cases from Casemate. Okay, this is fun. Casemate is really doing some cool stuff here. So first, let's talk about this one. Kind of the most basic of them all. This is part of uh, what Casemate calls just like their three-in-one pack bundle. It's got a basic case. There are some raised lips around each of the corners. You can see them better down here probably. Very big raised edges that are gonna give it more drop protection, especially falling on its back there. Uh, pop this in, it does support MagSafe. A lot of protection here from this case, uh, to be frank, but good around the camera protection, and it includes two screen protectors in the box, everything you need. These are tempered glass screen protectors, so you can slide those on. We'll talk about screen protectors at the end of this video, but it's nice that you can get this bundle here uh, with the screen protectors in the box. So you can get a case and a screen protector all in one. After that setup, we have, uh, got, I guess, their other normal one, which is their 2020 iPhone Pro case. Um, this has a clear back, 
with that printing on it, which as we've talked about, it's got like glitter in there, like I'm like gold schlager poured on the back of this. It's got this marble look, glitter all around this, like gold flakes going through it. It's so pretty looking. This is a very pretty case, MagSafe support built in. I love it. So great case here, 10 feet or so of drop protection. Now let's talk about the last one, which is probably the most unique. It's part of their blocks, blocks line. And it's, uh, it holds up to the name. Cause look at this, look, what is this? Am I, is this even an iPhone at this point? Uh, it's, it's blocky. All right. Look at those corners. They are sharp. Those are sharp corners. I can't even tell if this is an iPhone. Looks like an old uh, Microsoft phone. There's magnets in here, so it does have support for MagSafe. It's got this matte back, which I, I actually like the look of that, but it's kind of weird. It's kind of neat. You're gonna hold this. It, it almost looks like it's like encased in a epoxy frame. I don't know. Uh, it's unique for sure. It's cool. I like it. I'm a fan. It's weird. There's something different and I'm always going to get behind someone trying something different. It, it is always worth that gamble for me. And I think this is a really cool, unique, fun case. Adam Studios. So this is the split clear case from the Studio Atom, uh, or Atom Studios rather. It has frosted at the top around this lip, clear at the bottom, MagSafe built in, nice case, premium eco-friendly materials, 10 feet of drop protection. My favorite one though, uh, of the two that I have to check out from them is this guy here. So it's made from recycled materials on the body, good matte feel to it. It's got like this texture on there. You can kind of see it looks very neat. Then they get this gold here at the top, which is all these premium material, chamfered edges inside of the camera. It does have MagSafe support. So wallets, uh, stands, everything is gonna connect, hold on to that very easily. But a very neat looking case. I'm a fan of this one. Uh, they have a lot of really neat kind of materials. They're, they're working with cork, they're working with metal all these different things to create just really unique cases. I'm a fan of them. I think they have some cool options to check out. So check out Adam Studios and see the other designs that they have available. One of my favorite cases from Banks, B-E-N-K-S. This guy here, this first off made from actual Kevlar fiber. Unlike some of the others that are using Aramid fiber, uh, not the name, name brand stuff, this is actual Kevlar in this case. The back of this has this luxurious premium feel and a little bit of texture where you can see those fibers coming through. It looks really, really neat. And I'm not a fan of carbon fiber, uh, but this I think actually looks really sleek. And I love the soft touch finish to the outside. Nice, easy to put on to your phone. Metal buttons on the sides. So we have the metal buttons there, metal power button on the side there. Good raised lip around the camera. Uh, and MagSafe is, is here, really strong, nice magnets. This is such a cool case. I'm a huge fan of this one and it's affordable. It's not, it's not a very super expensive case just cause it's using actual Kevlar in here. It's still affordable. This is a really neat case with very high end materials that feels great and offers a lot of protection. What about something fun from Kate Spade? Really pretty stylish case here from Kate Spade, New York. No MagSafe in this version, but it's a clear shell case with the printing on the back. It's floral design that still shows the iPhone underneath. Good raised edge there, good raised edges in the front. Buttons feel good, uh, not too squishy, nice and tactile. And this has antimicrobial defenses built right in. This case is from Totally. Totally does one style of cases and they do it amazingly well. And that is just uber thin, lightweight, minimalist cases almost more, more cover than case or more skin than case. So we can just slide this over our phone. It fits like a glove right there. It gives you this frosted finish to it. Comes in various colors, including a new purple one for the purple iPhone. Fits just around the bumpers there or the buttons there. This thing is so thin. It's actually a, a, like slightly just about the same thickness as those buttons that stick out. It's kind of bonkers how thin they can make these cases, but just the minimalist protection that you can get while still covering 
every part of your iPhone. It's not gonna protect against like a huge fall or anything, but it gives you some protection, scratches, all of that without overburdening your phone. Uh, this is what they do, just super duper thin cases in really neat colors. They're starting to get more protective. Uh, there's some thicker case options available, but this is their bread and butter right here, and they're absolutely amazing as always. Another gorgeous case, this time from Coach. So this is another luxury brand here, simple, stylish case that slips right over your iPhone, clear design with that printing on there. Um, but you do have that Coach logo, you know, that's what you're looking for here uh, in terms of a Coach case is getting that Coach word mark on there. It's a really pretty case. I mean, you can't fault them for that. They look very nice. Antimicrobial, I believe on the outside, good like 10 feet or so of drop protection, rubberized exterior, flexible case, easy to put on and off. Really nice designs here. I love them. So this is one of the new cases from Coach. Downside is no MagSafe, but if you weren't using it, it's not gonna be a problem. So I'd mentioned Case Defier early in the video, and that was more of their branded cases. They're kind of really fun ones that they did. They also their standard series of cases, and this year they have a new model. So let's look at their options. So this is their Impact case, their Impact case. Uh, this is amazingly cool looking, by the way. I love this like 3D pattern wave form. It's cool, very cool. So this is their Impact case has MagSafe support into it, rubberized exterior. You can see that little bit of extra material in there to help for the impact protection. This is their impact case. Their second option, this one here, have a good day. Like I can see on like the bag of a takeout place right there on the back of these guys. This is their, uh, I think Impact Plus. I've already forgotten the name and I, and I apologize for that, but their secondary impact, Impact Plus, Impact Ultra, something along those lines, more protective. So you can see these extra ridges around the corners. This is not super new. They've had these for a little while now. So an extra, a little more protective case style here. And then their third one, this is what's new and that I want to highlight. This is their bounce case. This is the most protective of all of the Case Defy cases. Check this thing out. Look at those things, like air gapped in the corner. Yeah, you can see the table coming through there. Big old covers on the corner of this case. They've done so many studies on, you know, what was where people were dropping their phone cases. And it's these corners that are the most prone to breakage. So hardback, protective corners, raised lip on the front, a very solid raised lip on the front. If you want like the most protective case and you want to go with a case to buy, the bounce case is where it's at. This is the special ops case from Element Case. So really neat looking case here. Unique looking case here from Element Case. It's got this like rocky pebbled texture on the edges, like the actual bumper part of this and this faux gl cracked glass pattern here on the back. Let's go ahead and slip my iPhone 14 Pro into place here. We go through all the corners. We're in, okay, so buttons feel ridiculously tactile. These are their fast tap buttons. I believe that they've used before. I, I hope that's who this what, what this is. But they're metal buttons and they kind of float and they make direct contact with Apple's buttons underneath. So it feels just like you're touching the buttons on the iPhone itself. Same thing on the volume buttons here. Great tactile response, cool exterior to it. Really neat looking back pattern. This is the special ops case from Element Case. You got MagSafe, everything you need, protective, protective cases, vastly exceeds the mil spec standard, uh, which, which isn't super protective, but the fact that it, it well exceeds it is the good thing here. So this is a really neat case from Element Case. This is the Pelican Shield with Kevlar. So let's check these thing out, go through the details. This is a two part case design. So you actually have uh, an interior and exterior, a soft material and a hard material uh, make up this case, but these two different pieces come apart and your phone sandwiches in the middle. It's gonna make it really protected as it's sandwiched in the middle of these two pieces. So it comes apart like that. Uh, you got these little lips around all the sides. Your phone goes in. By the way, if you didn't see, want to call it out, you have MagSafe there, right there. That pops into place. Then this goes back on. And I know this <laughs> came out. This is your cover there uh, for the port. So this all snaps into place, covers up there, covers up here. Everything is very well protective. Uh, I got to put that button back in. 
this slides into place there, covers in, so for your uh, your button, your ports there on the side, that's where that button goes. Uh, all super protected. You can see the Kevlar backing on, this, on there, a uh, neat look to it, and then it comes with a holster. So slide this in, clip it into place, clip on the back, your pants, your jacket, whatever you're clipping this onto, protects your phone as it's in there, and then clip it, comes free, and you can pull your phone out and use it. Really nice case. Super protective here. This is one of their, their big ones that they do. MagSafe is huge for this. I've never seen a protective case like this that had MagSafe. I think that's brilliant. Um, that can also work. This little clip on the back can act as a kickstand, which is handy too. So if you need to pop it out and use it as a stand, that's really neat to see. So this is the Shield with Kevlar from Pelican. Three different cases from Bodyguards. This is the Modus case. And it's got this built-in clip right here on the bottom that's three functions. So first, allows you to hold your phone more hands-free. You can like kind of rest on the bottom. A little bit of added protection to hold your phone. You can also prop it up that way. It acts as a impromptu vertical stand, no need to do anything. And it'll act as a money clip. So if you have any uh, cash lying around or anything you need to kind of hold in there, slide it in just like that. You got a kind of mini wallet built right in to the back of your phone. The downside to that part though, is that you can't use MagSafe, which is a, a bummer for me, but not everyone is going to need that. Other neat features is they actually have forward facing vents. So one for the microphone, one for the speaker. So the bottom actually completely covered and protected other than the charging port. And it routes that audio forward for your mic and for your speaker. So it comes through the front of the phone rather than the bottom. And it's a really neat little trick there. So I like this one. I love this material. The, it feels great in the hand. This is the, the green color. There's also a black one. They're slightly like pebbled, a little bit of a texture to it. A little bit of a, it's not a solid color, a little bit of color to them. Very, very cool cases. This is the Modus case from Bodyguards. This is the Ace Pro case. This version is my favorite. It's like a light blue color. So you have a light blue MagSafe puck around the center, frosted edges that also have a little bit of light blue impact material on the inside. Good lip around the front sides, very lightweight, extra grip on the sides. It's textured there, so it's uh, harder to drop your phone. This is also a neat colorway. So there's a black version, uh, a little bit of frosted color, black on the sides, neat looking. This one's also cool. So same style case, just lacks MagSafe, but you got that color gradient. So all clear down to more opaque black at the bottom. Cool, cool look, just lacks MagSafe. This is the Ace Pro with and without MagSafe from Bodyguards. So the Ace Pro case had 14 feet of drop protection. This is the Carve case, which has 10 feet of drop protection. There is a clear version, uh, all the way clear, no MagSafe. Then I have two that have MagSafe. So this is Sky Blue, I believe. And then the other one is Rose Quartz. So just a little bit less drop protection. The whole thing is tinted, so blue all around the sides. Rose quartz option, all tinted with and without MagSafe from Bodyguards. Lastly, I have two cases from Gear 4, which is a Zag brand. Gear 4 cases always use D3O, which is this impact material. Uh, really helps cushion these cases. They're able to be very, very thin and lightweight will still offer a lot of drop protection. So these are about 10 feet or so of drop protection. This one here is my favorite because I think this looks amazing. I love the look of this. It's a clear case. You can see my fingers through there. It's got this cool pattern to it. There's grip going down the side, mag safe in here, just an amazing looking case. And yeah, they're using that D3O for that uh, drop protection. This one actually I think might be like 13 feet of drop protection, so a little bit more than some of your other cases, but I think it looks really great. I think it looks so cool, very protective for your phone. Gear 4 cases from Zag uh, using D3O. So briefly, I wanna talk about some of the screen protectors. Some people do not use screen protectors, but I find them essential. Just sliding the phone in and out of my pocket, I end up with very small little abrasions on the top or the bottom, just going, going against my jeans and I feel better using a screen protector, but I always recommend using a glass screen protector. So see, these are some of the ones that I actually use on my 
phones. So starting with uh, Vena here, Vena, we talked about them in their cases. They do use 9H hardness, very strong tempered glass for the screen protectors. They're not plastic in any way. Um, oleophobic coatings, they, they prevent fingerprints and they are shatter resistant, shatter safe, so they're not gonna split into a bunch of pieces when they do break. These are uh, one of the cheaper ones of the ones that we are looking at, but at least they are glass, so I very much like that. Beyond those, uh, we come up to these three, one here in the middle, again from Nimble, so there's all the benefits of the company itself, uh, certified B Corporation, 1% for the planet, uh, climate neutral, all of that stuff. So these are two are glass screen protectors, eco-friendly using 45% recycled glass in the process. Uh, they have a tray included here in the box to make installation very easy, scratch resistant, antimicrobial, um, anti-fingerprint and smudge, and edge-to-edge -edge drop protection. Lots of stuff built into these cases, plus they're more eco-friendly than some of the alternatives. So yes, sustained glass screen protectors from Nimble. Then two more of the bigger names. We have OtterBox here first. There's two different versions that I use sometimes, and there's the blue light guard and then there's standard screen protector. So the Amplify Glass uh, full-on screen protector as well as the blue light guard. They are using Corning's Gorilla Glass, which is actually, uh, Apple uses Corning's Gorilla Glass on the iPhones themselves. A lot of other benefits here. Uh, no fingerprints, easy install with a tray, all that on the inside. Very good touch responsiveness on these, scratch resistant, a lot of things here. I like both of them, so if you want blue light protection, you're looking at a screen all day, uh, that's an option. Otherwise, the full-on straight screen protector, good, good, good options here from OtterBox. Finally, the ones they sell primarily in the Apple stores, Belkin, that's right, it's Belkin. Belkin has a ton of different versions of their cases, so just gotta find the one that you're looking for. These guys here, standard ultra glass screen force, antimicrobial treated, other benefits here, easy install trays. These are super quick, easy to do. They have a, a little tray, put it in like one touch installed. Great, great, great screen protectors here. Apple recommends these a lot. They have also like anti-glare ones and uh, privacy ones that are options. These are something to consider. Finally, and I don't have it to show you because I had already tested it out, but there is a great screen protector from Banks. So we looked at the Banks case already and I had to take the screen protector off because I was shooting another video. Uh, but this is it. This is their uh, the Banks screen protector. Glass, very easy one touch install tray, but you'll notice too they have this black edge which gives it this elevated feel because it blends it into the side of your phone and it's got curved edges on it. So as you're like swiping in from the sides, even if you're not using a case, it feels nice on your hand. So this is the Banks screen protector. Good, uh, good pair with the Banks protective case. So that's it, that's it. That's more than 100 cases and screen protectors for Apple's latest iPhone series. Let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite iPhone 14 Pro case? If there's ones I didn't cover in this video, let me know, shout them out. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video, include more cases next time. Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise stay tuned, because I've got more videos even for the other iPhones coming very soon.